Hello. Hi. Is that Tom again? Good. What's going on? Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. I hate when I can't see my soul. <laughs> I just want to show you how um how far I got and everything. But if I can't see, then how am I supposed to show you? You can't see. Know. No, like I can't see me. I can't. Huh? I said, I can't see me, so I can't, how can I show it to you without, like, seeing what I'm showing? <laughs> Interesting. Um, you can just uh, point it to the camera. I'm going to, I have to go into my other computer anyway, because uh, you're kind of small on this one. Oh, oh, I see me. I fixed it. Okay, let me just um, turn on zoom on this one also. How's your week going, Professor? Uh, busy. Yeah. It's a busy, busy. I got to go to a dental convention this weekend. Where? I don't know if you guys are going. Where? In Philadelphia. Ooh. What, what's the, what is it about? Uh, it's... Uh, it's just the regular conventions that we used to have before the pandemic. Uh, if you look it up on LMT, uh, they'll give you all the information on it, probably. Because this is just the one that we had every year, the Dental Congress. Oh. Let's see. Oh, October 23rd, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was getting a feedback. Oh, that's hurt in my ear. Okay, I can see you now. What's that noise? It's feedback from. Just turn down the volume a little bit. Okay. Wait, wait, now it's too low. I can't even hear you. A little echo. Oh, wow. I love that. Okay. Um, do you want me to show it to you on the articulator or? or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just put it close to the camera. We just point the right, right from the top now. Okay. 
All right. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Okay, and then can you look at the other side? Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> All right, the other side you have it backwards. You have the narrow area. Let me turn off the volume. All right. All right. All right. So the uh, uh, let me turn this off so I don't echo. Please do. All right. Hold on. One thing as well as you have. I can't hear you if you're talking. Okay, you should be able to hear me. Now. Oh, okay, I can. All right. So you see the you see the picture I put up? Yeah. All right. So on the first one that you showed me, this is what you're missing right here. Yeah. So you gotta put on that the, in and move this on the first way. side? Yeah, on the left side. Okay. So you're missing this one. So move this one a little bit closer to the middle. You see how this one is? Yeah. And put this in. If you need to, just make some room for yourself. You know, just kind of scrape away from the green yeah. a little bit. And okay. on the other side, you had it kind of backwards. You had the narrow area in the middle and the wide area on the top. You see it? Your triangles are inverted on the right side. Look here. You see? Yeah. The tip is on top. Is on the cusp tip. Oh, like like the, like the it's way like I a place teardrop. the wax? It's like a teardrop with the tip of it at the cusp tip. You see? So it's, the problem is like the way I wax, like I added the wax? Yes. You have this area like, like, uh, like so. You see? Yeah. You have it like this. Oh, I'm not, you, you want to know <laughs> what all that was about? I honestly thought you was gonna make me redo that whole side. So I was like, let me just put like, just to make sure that, cause I, like, I didn't want to keep going and like trying to make it look if no. you was gonna make me redo it. <laughs> but I see what you're saying. He you just uh, widen out the uh, areas like in the um, central fossa. You know, widen these okay. triangular ridges on the bottom and narrow mm -hmm. them the top. Okay. All right. So right now you see how you can see all these little dimples on here? Yeah. This is where your contacts are going to be. So it's going to be okay. here, 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 mm -hmm. and there, right here. Okay. And on the cusp tips, you're going to have it right on the cusp tips here. And then you're going to have it on the distal slope of the cusp ridge here and the mm -hmm. distal slope of the cusp ridge here. Okay. 
So you see how <clears throat> it's, this is not very shiny? That, that's because I put talcum powder on it. So you could tell exactly where it's touching. It's easier to see. Okay. So what I did is I put some talcum powder with a brush and then I blew it mm -hmm. up. And then I uh, put the um, articulated together so I can see exactly where the um, opposing touches. I see. Okay. So, Professor, my question is, right? Where, like, where do we go from here? From here, the next step will be the secondary ridges right here. You can use the blue wax blue to wax add your secondary way. ridges. But make sure that your secondary ridges allow for the buckle groove here. So it's going to be a little challenging to put them here. <clears throat> what do you mean allow for the buckle groove? Like The buckle groove, the buckle uh, developmental groove is right here mm -hmm. between these okay. two cusps here. And the distal buckle developmental groove is right here. Okay. And all these grooves meet in the central pit here. Mm -hmm. So it's going to go like this. It's going to go like this. What color wax is that? Uh, you can use blue just to make it different from the green. I, wait, I thought we were using green already. Yeah, you used green here. You I mean, for blue. blue. Here. But you can use blue here also. Or you can use green if you want. It really makes no difference to me as long okay. as the uh, grooves are there. Okay. But uh, just make sure those grooves are here. So your secondary ridges will go right here and right here, and they will meet right along this line here. You understand? Yeah, I'm, I'm writing it all down. And then you'll have, when you put the um, secondary ridge here, you're gonna have this groove right here and going through the marginal ridge. This is the mesial marginal groove. So your ridge will go right into the center here. And okay, that's a different color. Mm. Let's see if I can change the color on this. Oh, that's a highlight, that's why. I can't change the color, but anyway, the um, secondary ridge will go right here. There should okay. be plenty of space here. And it will go right to this line here. Don't worry about contacts on the secondary ridge. Okay. The main contacts are going to have to be on the triangular ridges, the um, marginal ridges, and the cusp ridges here. Okay. If there's no contact on the tip here, on the distal ridge, on the distal uh, a cusp, don't worry about that. I'm concerned with okay. this one, this one, this one, this, 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 and that. So there's two contacts on this cusp tip, one on the tip, one on the distal cusp ridge, same thing here, one on the tip, one on the distal cusp ridge. And then the triangular ridges will have one, two, three, and four. And then the marginal ridges will have 
one there. It could be two because this is going to be a roof. So if you have contact in this area, in effect, you'll have two contacts, one here and one here. Because this is going to be divided in two. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you have the contact exactly on the line, then you're going to end up with two small contacts. One on each side of the line. But it's mm -hmm. one mesial contact. So you have one here. You have one here. You have one here. One here. One here. One there. One there. Mm -hmm. One here. And one here. So in effect, that cusp on the upper, the mesiolingual cusp, will make these four. Okay. Upper and mesial? And then this is going to be produced by the central fossa of the upper. And this will be caused by the mesial fossa of the lower, I mean of the upper. Because this is going into the fossa of the central fossa. So, slowly build this up and you've been doing it. I saw your contacts on yours. So slowly build it up until you just get a little bit. It could even be smaller than this. Mm -hmm. And then on these, you have one here and then you may have one here. And then I think it was one here and one here. Okay. And I don't know if you can get this one. And maybe one here, but I don't, I'm not sure if you can get that one. Mm -hmm. But you're going to get this, 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 and probably one here. Because the upper lingual uh, cusp of the second premolar will go into the distal fossa here. So mm -hmm. you'll we'll probably get these three or four right here. And then this one is going into the upper, I think, distal fossa. Okay. I think. Um, let me double check that for a second. Okay. Uh, so I don't give you the wrong information because Everybody gets confused with this, isn't it just you? Okay. Yeah, it goes into the distal fossa of the lower. Let me align this again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Uh, uh, oh, we'll see. Uh, uh, Ah, uh, you had it. You almost had it. Everything is opposite. Oh, other way. Is it too up? I think it's screenshot, Professor. It's okay if you don't get it. You, you got it already, right? Yeah, I think it's okay. screenshot. <laughs> All right, let me erase that. You know me, I move fast. <laughs> Couldn't risk it. Yeah. All right. But anyway, it goes into the distal fossa. Um, okay. And on the first, uh, first by, it also goes into the distal fossa. You know, the upper... Um, Lingual. So you're going to get a distal marginal ridge contact right here. You can probably tell a little bit. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
contact was right there. Try to bring it more closer to the middle if you can. If not, okay. as long as you have it on the marginal ridge, it should be fine. Okay. And then you have the distal. And then you have another distal here. The upper um, triangular ridge will contact this right here. I mean, uh, yeah, the distal right here. Upper triangular ridge here, upper triangular ridge here. The tips go into the mesial fossa of the upper premolars. Okay, so these two tips go into the mesial fossa of the upper premolars. Yeah, so you, don't forget this little one. I didn't put it in yet. There's a little tiny, oh. mini, mini triangular ridge right here. And then okay. you can just bring these two together and make a, make a little groove right there. Okay. So you're gonna have a groove here, groove here, groove here. And these are what kind of grooves? They're marginal grooves. Marginal groove. Mesial marginal groove, the marginal groove. It's still marginal. Okay. See why I stress it to you guys that you need to know the terminology. We know. You know why you it to us. And it's a marginal groove because it goes through the marginal ridge. Right. And then here you do the same thing on the lingual. You have your lingual developmental groove. You're going to mm -hmm. put your secondary ridge here, your secondary ridge there, mm -hmm. and your secondary ridge there, and your secondary ridge there. Now, if you can't get it in there, just make sure that when you add here, that you still show the grooves that come back, come through. Because mm -hmm. some of these is gonna be impossible to make a ridge. So you're just going to have to kind of put a little wax there until mm -hmm. you can make a groove right here. And then you can just, meet, make them meet there. And your groove is gonna go like this, and it's gonna go like this, and then go right through the marginal ridge. The same thing here. You have your central groove like that. You have your mm -hmm. lingual groove here. <clears throat> and then you have your triangular grooves right here. But, the triangular grooves kind of fade out when you come up to the end. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's going to be sharp mm -hmm. here, like I showed you mm -hmm. in pathology. Okay. It's going to be sharp here. And then as you come up, it's going to fade out. Mm -hmm. and it's going to be just like a depression. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's going to become like a valley. And then as you get to the middle, it's going to become sharp again. Like a groove. Okay. You show it to me Friday. Or you can show it mm -hmm. to me before if you want to send me a picture on email. Okay. And then uh, that's what um, one of my other students did. Uh, what's her okay. name? Um, Liliana mm. sent me some pictures and then I drew on her pictures so that she could see. Oh. What I meant. Okay. Just like okay. I did here. I can do the same thing on photos. Because it's, Professor, like, I've been waiting for you, to, like, since, like, I did this on Saturday at work. Uh, and then I was like, I'm going to just talk to him. Because I like when you explain it to me, but if you, like, draw on it, like, a little thing will be fine, too, and then you just explain to me when I see you. Yeah, I, I can, you know, I, I check my email, like, every day or every other day, so... Uh, if you send me an email with a picture like this, 
I can mm -hmm. mark it up for you and tell you what I think. Okay. That way you don't have to wait like a Wednesday and you can, you only get yeah. you once. Yeah. We can still do the Wednesday thing. You can just email me and uh, that way when I see it, I mark it up, I'll give you my opinion and then uh, we can discuss it if you like. Okay. But uh, other than what you said about the left, is it the... Uh, the left side, but the second looks, side I showed you. It's the right way. Now you just have to kind of flip over the triangles. <laughs> it's Make what? Oh, yeah. 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 But other than that, like the placement and things is cool. The placement looks okay. Just make sure that you have your contact points in the right place. Okay. Just go over the diagrams. See where the contact point is supposed to be. You have your little occlusion book, right? Yeah. Yes. I was, that's what I was following. Yeah. And okay. just keep following it. Uh, certain so. contacts may not you may not be able to get because it's a um, it's an ideal book. Mm -hmm. So it's not exactly meant for these particular models. It's just meant for a standard model. Okay. And Professor, do you have any like updated videos you could post? Uh, no, I, I haven't done anything yet because I just, uh, I have to uh, do my other school work. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. But I can't wait to show it to you on Friday. Okay. And uh, we'll deal with that and let's uh, try to get this finished on Friday so we can start on the other one. Yes, Professor, I'm super excited to start on the other one. Yeah, the other one's going to be even more fun. It's uppers. That's my favorite. Really? Yeah, because I like to do the upper first molars. Which ones are we doing? Um, I could just... We're doing uh, first, second, third on the upper. The same way we did this one, it's going to be the same one, but the opposing. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we have to finish that one because the following project will be all of them together. Mm. So that's going to be a little bit more challenging because there's no teeth to uh, guide yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. More reason why it has to be accurate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're in school now? Yeah, I have RPD. I'm almost done though. Professor Cena is there today? Yeah, that's my professor. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, Thank you so much for your time. Anything else you're confused about? Nope. Yeah. Nope, I'm going to keep working on it and we'll see where we at on Friday. Okay. You got it. Thank you for your time, Professor. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Remember, if you have any other questions, just snap a picture and send it to me on email. All right, I will. Okay. All right, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.